Hey folks, so yesterday I worked on the brake job. I was using my Tecton torque wrench um, to torque some caliper bolts and just all of a sudden this happened. Like, no, no ratcheting mechanism anymore. And you can hear the, I'm assuming that's the pawl in there floating around. So that was really surprising. Um, I mean, those caliper bolts, they're the sliding ones, so it's only 30 foot-pounds. That's what it's still set to from yesterday. So it's not like I was reefing on this thing. And this has hardly been used. I would say that I've maybe used this 20 times. That would be my guess on the high side. So uh, let's put in a warranty claim and see what happens. Hey, folks. Well, I got my replacement torque wrench. These guys are on the ball, so when I submitted the form on their website for the replacement, I got an email from them within two minutes asking me for one additional piece of information. I got that to them uh, after 8 at night, I think. And the next morning at 8, 11 a.m., they wrote back, okay, all good, your replacement's on the way, and I had this two days later. That's really good customer service. So the interesting thing is that these are the exact same model number, TRQ62103, and then TRQ62103, but they're clearly not the same. So this is the old one. Got screws on the back for taking this uh, head apart on this one screws on the front so they've done a design revision of some sort so they don't want the old one back so uh no harm in taking this apart and seeing what's going on well okay so that is broken Ah, okay, so this sits here, should sit like that, so that's broken off, that may be tough to fix. Well, having ample evidence that there is nothing that JB Weld can't fix, we're going to go ahead and give this a shot. I mean, I'm not out anything if it doesn't work. Clean our parts with some just denatured alcohol here. Hold still, little guy. It's going to be the least amount of JB Weld I've ever used on any project. Ah, too much. Yes, these are precisely equal. No substitute for just human touch here. All right, feels like right there is where it needs to, to settle. And gently. she stays for a while. I'm going to let that cure very well before before touching it because I think there's not much chance this is going to work, but we'll see. Well, it's been approximately 24 hours. Let's see if we accomplished anything. Well, it's not immediately falling off, so that's something. Just need to clean this up a little bit, take some of that extra JB Weld off, and then it might sit down in there properly. 
Okay, I just took some sandpaper and a hand file and just kind of cleaned that up a little bit. So it looks, I mean, looks good to me. It is fitting in there relatively well. I mean, it's got nice contact, so... Obviously, I don't know exactly where that spring was, but I feel like it should kind of find its own center. All right, we'll start with an easy test. Let's go with 30, since that's what broke it in the first place. Seems to seems to be okay. Take her up to 50. Seems okay. Let's just may as well just take it up to a hundred and see what happens. All right. Well, uh, we'll see how long term the fix is, but it's certainly working right now, which is pretty cool. Anyway, thanks for watching, and until next time, farewell. Well, I got curious, so figured, what the hell, let's take this new one apart, see what the design change was. Okay, so there's the old one, and here's the new one. As we can see, completely different design. And I'm assuming that that was done because they determined that this was fragile. I mean, that's completely a guess. And you can see this is much, much finer uh, tooth design. Uh, you can see they're using a ball bearing down here. There's probably a spring in here. Now, and you can see this is a reversible design, but there is actually no, you know, no mechanism for actually reversing it. Just to demonstrate that this is, in fact, reversible. Try to use two picks to simulate what would happen. So there you go. Now, turns that way, holds that way. Now, turns this way, holds this way. But on a torque wrench, there's really no reason to have anything other than a, you know, like forward gear, so to speak. Uh, so that's why there's no selector switch. So very cool uh, that they you know did a revision update. Um, I'm guessing this proved problematic, and that may be why there are no rebuild kits available. Who knows? Um, but the finer tooth design is also nice. Uh, you know, should reduce the the swing arc. So pretty cool and interesting. Exact same model number. Obviously, two totally different revisions. Um, so there you go.